Today I'm going to be trying out a new medium that I've really been wanting to try out for a while but it's also probably the medium that I've been most afraid to try because I think it's going to be really really hard and that is ballpoint pens and this video is actually a collab with a really great artist also here on YouTube called Demusa and I'm going to be telling you a bit more about his channel in a minute but the first thing that we need to do is actually go out and get these pens. So when I was talking to Demus about it, he actually recommended the brand Statler. So I think I'm going to go for these ones because you've got a nice range of colours here, whereas the others are just like black, blue, red and green. So I think I'm just going to have to go with these because they're the only option. But I think we've got enough colours to do something realistic. Insert cash or select payment type. One thing that I was quite surprised about is the whole of these 10 pens, a really good quality brand was only $4.99. So if you want to try a new medium and you haven't got much to spend, then I really recommend giving ballpoint pens a try. So on Demise's channel, he mainly focuses on drawing with ballpoint pens. That's what he specializes in. He does so many realistic drawings and fan art pieces, mainly like speed drawing videos, but he also does do some tutorial videos as well. So if you want to learn how to draw using ballpoint pens, I definitely recommend checking it out. But even if you don't want to learn that, if you just want to see some incredible work, then check out his channel. He is amazing. So for this collaboration, we decided that it'd be really fun to try and draw something realistically, but using each other's favourite mediums. So I'm going to be drawing with ballpoint pen and he is going to be practising painting with watercolours, which isn't my favourite medium, but he's already tried out coloured pencils. So I thought it'd be more fun for him to try and paint with watercolours. The first thing that I wanted to do with these pens is actually swatch them to kind of give me an idea of what colours I have to work with because there is only 10 pens so that is the smallest colour range that I've probably worked with in the past but I really like the colours that we had and the first thing then that I wanted to do is actually practice some techniques because I know absolutely nothing about ballpoint pens so I thought it'd be fun to watch some of Demus's videos and actually follow along with his tutorials. The first one that I followed along with was his do's and don'ts for drawing skin as I really wanted to practice layering the colours and not applying too much pressure on the pens I found it very hard to actually try and get light values with the pens as I've never worked with pens before I'm used to pencils where it's easy to get a sort of variation in shades and tones and values but with the pens it's a whole different ball game and it was really fun to actually practice something new. I then went on to another tutorial where I was was practicing mixing black with other colors because I know that I'd have to use black a lot in my piece in order to darken shades up. I then also practiced some other things like mixing and graduating between different colors and as I went on and practiced more, I definitely got a lot more confident actually restricting my pressure and getting a variation in the values. The final little test, the thing that I actually wanted to do is try and mix and graduate between all of the different colours in this pack and that was a bit of a disaster so as you can see it's not very smooth at all. I just kind of ran out of patience I think and yeah it definitely wasn't the smoothest thing I've done. One thing that I really wasn't expecting was how dirty my hands were going to get. When I'm using the pens the nibs get really like full of ink so I'm having to like go against my finger with them to like get rid of that excess ink otherwise it just creates little splodges all over the drawing. So for our final little piece we're going to have a go at drawing an eye. For this drawing I decided to use a reference of my own eye and I started off with the pupil and the iris and I just started building up more and more layers using the techniques that I learned at the start. It's really important to layer the tones and work from light to dark, very similar actually to coloured pencil. I'd say the only difference is obviously with a pen it's a lot harder to get those lighter values. You really really have to be careful how much pressure you apply because if you like even change your pressure slightly you'll get a really dark line and if you don't wipe your pen which I found out then you can get little splodges of the ink that go onto the paper that are a lot darker and you just have to be really careful with the pens. I actually enjoyed this challenge a lot more than I thought I would. I was expecting this to be a real nightmare and something that was really difficult and even though it was quite hard and I was finding it a real challenge, it was so much fun to try something new. It's been a while since I've done a new medium and I definitely would recommend trying this if you are a beginner, you don't have too much money to spend on fancy expensive art supplies because like I said, this was something I just picked up from WH Smith. It was £4 
£1.99. I got 10 colours, which meant that I had enough to create something realistic. Yes, I could have done with more colours, but they were enough to start out with. And these supplies might not even be something you need to go out and buy. You might already have them in your house. You might use them for revision, taking notes, you know, anything like that. So just look around your house. You might have things you can create art with there already. I think one of the things I found most challenging about this is I didn't realise that the pack I brought didn't have a yellow pen and a lot of the sort of lighter values in the eye really could have done with yellow otherwise they're looking a bit too orangey. I'd definitely consider practicing more with ballpoint pens and actually starting to use this medium more because I definitely think it's a really convenient medium as well. You don't have to sharpen them so it's less wastage obviously the ink runs out but you use all of the ink up rather than pencils where a lot of the time you sharpen half of the pencil away so it's convenient they're cheap you probably already have them you'll probably already have a black one at least which you can do black and white images with and I think it's really convenient just for little sketches in your sketchbook rough sketches and then maybe use pencils for the polished piece but I definitely think since trying these out, they're not as scary as I thought they would be. So I definitely think there's going to be a place for them in my art. I also did use a white gel pen at the end just to add a few highlights. It was very difficult actually trying to preserve the lighter areas because I am so used to being able to go in with a white pencil or white paint with watercolours. So it was very unusual to work this way. So I had to get my white gel pen out just to do a few highlights at the end. Overall, I was so happy with how this turned out. Of course, it's not perfect. I've still got a lot to learn. But for a first attempt with this medium, I was really happy with it. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and tick the bell icon if you're new around here to get notified on my future art and tutorial videos. Also remember to go and check out Demoose's channel, watch his video, give him some support because he's a great guy and a really, really great artist. But that's it from me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.